Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 22nd, 2021. Today, the House inches closer on the floor vote to pass the relief package later this week. The House is easier for the Democrats to get it passed because they could lose a small amount of votes and still get it passed in the House. But once it reaches the Senate, then they actually need the support of all 48 Democrats as well as both independents to get this bill passed before it can go onto Biden's desk to get signed into law. This means Schumer will have to get the more moderate Democrats on board, which is basically Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, who have both spoken out against the minimum wage increase that is in the current bill. So basically, they, they're having problems with it. They, Joe Manchin thinks $11 an hour is sufficient enough for a new minimum wage, and Kirsten Sinema is, doesn't think it'll actually go into the Reconciliation Act. But let's find out. We'll find out later this week, actually, when it is voted on by the House and goes into the Senate. The minimum wage has been a very hot topic on this stimulus. The progressive Democrats see this reconciliation package as a truly unique opportunity to increase the minimum wage without the filibuster approved majority. So in other words, they're, not, they're trying to pass this without having a filibuster. Mansion and Cinema also represent states that are far more red than blue. So they have to basically deal with political risks to consider as well. So basically Cinema and uh, Mansion are representing basically Republican states, even though the Democrats. Some Democrats mentioned passing the minimum wage bill as a separate bill, but if you're st struggling to get 50 votes, votes now in the Senate, and you try to pass this bill later, you're going to be having a hard time getting 60 votes. There's a rumor that the Democrats could bring it down, bring the federal minimum wage down to 11 or $12 an hour, to get broader support, Politico said that some progressives are thinking about pairing the increase with the tax reform and small business relief that could reduce the impact on small businesses, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, why not compare those, compare those two things together to help out the small businesses so a higher minimum wage isn't going to sink them? I mean, so it's, the Democrats are thinking ahead, so that's a pretty good idea. The White House announced some new reforms to the Paytech Protection Program, or known as the PPP program, a year today that will bring more of that aid to small businesses. So basically, companies with under 20 employees will be eligible to apply for the PPP program, but this time around, and for the next two weeks, the PPP will be limited to truly small businesses. With a handful of employees. They also set aside $1 billion for self uh, proprietors, self employed, and independent contractors and clarified some regulations to make sure these with, these with individual taxpayer identification numbers, so I can't speak, could still apply for these loans. But those who uh, defaulted on the student, federal student loans or other federal debts will be disqualified from the PPP program for a minimum of seven years. There were other ones out there that kept, were, let me, the uh, prisoners and that were basically just got out of prison that became a independent contractor, self-employed. They were disqualified for up to five years, but this new reform also makes it so they can also apply for the PPP after one year, so no longer disqualified. But we'll see what happens when, uh, Later this week, when the House actually votes on this bill, I do expect it to pass in the House because there is more Democrats in the House than there is Republicans at this present time. We will find out what happens with the senatorial stuff in 2022 when I know one of the senators is actually not going to go up for re-election, so his seat is going to be open. And I'm sure there's going to be a few other senators as well that are going to have their seats open in 2022 as well. So we can just only hope when that year comes around, we'll get more Democrats in office that'll actually want to help the people out instead of Republicans that want to screw the people.
And as I mentioned in earlier program, at this present time, President Trump, sorry, former President Trump and Mitch McConnell are at wit's ends with each other because basically Trump did basically threaten them, saying that if you stick with Mitch McConnell, you're going to be on a losing Republican Party. And if you go with me, you're going to be on a winning Republican Party. So basically this clash of two people has put a divide in the Republican Party and it is splitting it in half. And at this present time, most some of those Republicans are actually going up for re-election in the Senate. And they do believe that if they get Trump's backing, they can win their seats and get more seats in the House and in the Senate. Whereas other ones, one the seventh actually voted for him to get impeached. Basically, Trump is really pissed off at them. But you know what? That's Trump's problem. And if you and if you haven't heard, uh, the Supreme Court has basically said that all of tax, all of Trump's tax returns, are now going to the New York District Attorney for them to prosecute Donald Trump for tax fraud as well as other money related uh, problems that he has been having. So let's just hope that when this whole Trump train that's going out there, I'm sure you've seen it, the people are kind of signs saying Trump 2020 or Trump 2024, we'll find out that that train, that train has crashed and there has not been a survivor left alive with a brain because that Trump is not going back up for president. Most likely chances are he's going to go into a federal slam for his crimes. But... Until next time, you guys actually have a wonderful evening, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Wednesday when I have more relevant information for you guys to have. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud